This week on Cannonall Farm TV, I'm going to find out if Ruby, the Shire horse, is still in full. I'm going to introduce you to our latest breed of sheep at Cannon Hall Farm, and we're going to check in with our Easter lambing flock to find out how we manage their feeding during late pregnancy. It's really, really important. Right, today we're extremely excited. We've got the remarkable Cheryl with us, who is a scanner of animals. Yes, yeah, yeah. livestock scanner, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're going to uh, find out definitively if Ruby is in fall at the moment. So we're uh, keeping everything crossed. And what are you going to be actually doing today, Cheryl? What are you using? It's an ultrasound and it's just going to go on her belly in between, in between her back legs. Um, the, jet, the oil is just literally for contact and it will give me a picture back to the headset um, above here and it will show me whether there is a foal in there or not. Fingers please crossed. Be a foal. Yeah, we don't want to, do we? Can you please make sure there is one? I will try my best. <laughs> I didn't actually no physically do it, but I'll try yeah. my best. <laughs> Well it's good news! Good I'll just girl. see if I can get a decent picture. Oh, and, sweet, That's good news then lads. Yeah, very yeah, pleased amazing with that. that. We're really, really pleased. I mean we were steady. She'd, she'd been scanned soon after service, but there's so much that can go wrong in the first few months of, uh, of pregnancy and um, and you're never really certain until you get sort of halfway through and then you can be uh, be a lot more confident. It's really nice to know though, isn't it? Mm. Cheers. So sure. Big Mac steady, steady, steady. Uh, has obviously done the job and we're very pleased. He's a top stallion and hopefully it's going to be a, a great little fall. It's really, really exciting actually because we, we've got one of the up and coming stallions in the whole yeah. country um, onto what is a really solid, good mare. And, uh, and you know, we, we could breed something really special. Finally, Rob's gone away. I've got a chance to say something. It looks like it's going to be a girl to me. But I'm not an expert. Time will tell. Right, I'm going to introduce you now to a brand new sheep at Cannon Hall Farm. It's one we're really, really excited about. Just follow me. This is our latest addition to, uh, to Cannon Hall Farm. It's a, a Dutch spotted sheep. Um, they, by the very nature of the name, they're from the Netherlands. Uh, this was born in Holland. Um, we've imported her. She's a, a beautiful gimmer lamb. We're really hopeful that she'll be having a lamb of her own in sort of April time. And uh, we really believe that this is a breed that's, uh, that's, that's going to go places. You know, we, we think they're the next, the next uh, big thing on the block. And, um, and we're really happy to have some and, uh, and, and see how they turn out. Uh, this is a breed that's, uh, that, that's, that's really significant in Holland in its home country. And, uh, and I have a feeling that they're going to fit into, the, um, into the, the British climate and, the, uh, and, and the, the grass that we produce really, really well. You know, I think they're, uh, I see no reason why they can't be a really popular breed in the UK in, in just a few years. And we're going to do our best to promote them. Right, we're, uh, we've had all the sheep scanned. And we're really happy with how they've performed. Uh, what we've got to do now is make use of that uh, of that technology by uh, by separating the, the the singles, separating the triplets, and, um, and and just making sure they're fed exactly the right amount of food. That's where the uh, that's where it'll be won or lost. It's all in the nutrition. Right, we're uh, we're separating now the the triplets into one pen, the singles into another. The, the singles. Um, all they need is basically hay and that'll take them right the way through to lambing and the, the lambs will be just the right size, just like Goldilocks's porridge, they'll be just right. The, the, the triplets are different, they need high energy, they need molasses and that'll give them the energy that they need to take them right through to lambing. The lambs will be a good size and, and the ewes will be in good condition to, uh, to make the milk, make the colostrum that the lambs need to, uh, to have the best start in life. And let's not forget about the twins. They've gone out into the field and they're on sugar beet. And that's a, a decent high energy food which will just be the you know just be right for the twins, yeah. The, the, the twins will then come in about four weeks before lambing. We'll give them uh, we'll give them some corn just to just to top up the uh, the, the, the sugar beet that they've been on. And uh, and again they should be just right. But we're taking great care with the nutrition because the nutrition is everything in late pregnancy. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm... 
Is that all sorted, Dave? Yep, all separated. So uh, we just have got we've got two quads in there that later on we'll have to just separate and give them extra care, um, you know, just before lambing. So, that, but other than that, it's a good. Thank you so much for watching Cannon Hall Farm TV, and don't forget, give us a like and a share.